Hello, my name is Mganda Simonis, and Zambian politics has evolved over the years. We were found founded by one Zambian one nation, which is very significant and paramount to our country. KK showed us an example of what it means to be patriotic and what it means to share Ubuntu, which was very significant those days. What are we doing now as young people to reflect on those values and principles? Let's move to the next one. 1991, very significant. 1991 signified the multi-party system, where now political party were meant to share their ideas and be voted into political powers. He, share, he showed us how an economy can function from a dormant economy. Quite a significant leader, and I must say, we have learned quite a lot. Monawasa. Some people might say Monawasa was a farmer, but Monawasa knew exactly what he meant when he said, stop corruption, end to corruption. That was very genuine um, incentive that he had to put on the governance system that many people had to follow, and we never tolerated corruption. And mind you, during that time, that's where we had the situation of debt completely out, swiped off. Today, we're talking about billions of dollars in debt as a country. Quite shocking. Lupia Bozani Banda. Unza people share great insight with Lupia Bozani Banda for the money he used to dash with, with the Unza people. But for me, genuinely, Lupia Banda was just a father. But nothing much significant, but I know money was in the economy. It was money without power, but there was money. But it was good. We are proud of you. And may your soul rest in perfect peace. The legend Cooking Cobbler. I think this picture speaks loud on its own. General, that's what I call him, General Sata. I think Patrick Front had a vision with Sat Sata. We saw infrastructure, hospitals being built, roads being built. The vision was very clear for the Zambian people. Today, we share his vision in a different limelight. May his soul rest in peace, the King Cobra. And now, the president, who when he was sworn in, he clearly stated that he did not have the vision for this country. But he led this country, and he continues the legacy that Mr. Sata left. Did it do justice to the legacy Mr. Sata left? Well, 2021 proved to be fatal for the PF, led by His Excellency President Ektika Chabalungu, the only sitting, the only president who is still alive and offering wisdom, and I hope is offering wisdom to the incumbent president, President Haka Indeichilema. Well, so much around him has been involved in scandals after scandals, corruption after corruption, but he was the president, and we should hold it, we should hold respect for his legacy as a president of the republic, as a sixth president of the republic. The man of the hour, Haga Inde I normally want to pronounce it right, Haga Inde The President of the Republic of Zambia, right now, he stands to restructure the economy, to balance the economy. Mind you, Bank of Zambia on Wednesday did announce uh, the monetary policy that the 25 increment base units, which increased from 9.25% to 9.50%, indicating that the inflation rate might increase from 6 to 8%. This is his government, and this is what we're talking about. So much to talk about. Many people have got a lot of conversation when it comes to President Aka in in terms of how he's managing the country. Some are saying he's a businessman. Some are saying he's not a politician. That's the reason why they made their loopholes. Some are saying he's a great leader and he's bringing investment in the country. Some are saying he's selling the country. Some are saying he's being biased to the friends that he's holding on the high table. But the conversation is that Zambian want him to go to China. And the statement he made on the press briefing is that China only see four presidents every year. But we have the G7. And I think there are seven presidents that have gone to China, Japan in particular. I mean, Japan, sorry. Uh, that is in Asia still. But the conversation is that was what was saying on the press briefing a fallacy or true? Well, it's a conversation for a later day. My name is Ndanji Simonza, call me the Ndanji brand, and that is history in a snippet.